myself and my collaborating partner artist, Jane Butler, have together worked with eight schools around Belfast in three separate workshops and we produced various materials around the theme of colour of sound. And this is a very special art project for Young and Art because we've collaborated again very closely with the Mac Gallery and in particular with the current exhibition that's on, which is by Mark Gary. My exhibition here is called Songs in the Soil um, and it looks at the relationship between voice and song and landscape. So that's played out in terms of a whole series of paintings that are based on chromatics, so the idea of musical notation that's directly connected to colour basically. And in our first workshop we particularly wanted to try working abstractly with the children, so we encouraged them not to use their hands directly on the canvases and the paper that we were using, but rather to spill things and drop things. And after those experiments we introduced them to our special material, which is our silks. And our idea there was not only for them to continue these experiments, but also to work as a group group to get them to produce something together. But just at the end of the final workshop, the third one, we made these little sculptures out of modelling clay. And again, this was something that they could take home, it was very much a very immediate thing. But I suppose the idea of sound and how it's played out also happens in the top floor space, where there is um, a six hour soundtrack of bird song and then musical interventions by myself. And that's where my engagement with the young people is going to come in. So we've been making little recordings with Jane and Duncan. So we're going to try and interweave that into the work for a period during the festival. So today was the completed exhibition and we've had all the schools getting to see what we've done with their materials for the first time. And they didn't know that they were going to get transformed into ceiling drapes and especially cushions. So it's been a bit of a surprise for them. And we were very much influenced by the actual classrooms here. A lot of the classrooms have a little quiet corner or a little cosy corner. And we thought, well, why don't we make something that can come back into the classroom? And that was the idea for these cushions, which are going to be returned to the schools. I think it's very exciting for them to come down here. You can tell that it's fun to come down to a new space. This project has had a bit of an emphasis on breaking down some of those boundaries between what you can and can't do in space, who, what a gallery space is and who it's for. The kids can come and touch these artworks, they can sit on these artworks, they can interact with the artworks. I think the importance lies in giving them a confidence and consideration of these kind of spaces that they can use them, they can participate in them, they can inhabit them. I think that's very important to try and break down any sort of perceptions about galleries, just to expand people's perceptions. They kind of reminded me of things, things that I um, haven't thought about for a very long time. Yeah, it's been a real pleasure. It seems like a really terrific organisation in terms of what their aspirations are. Any organisation that's facilitating a discourse between schools and art is a really positive thing for me.